Yeah. Hot, hot, hot. That's right. A first floor weather day because of yes. the heat. It's going to get dangerously hot for some people today, unfortunately. Okay. And then we also have the chance for storms. So a couple of things to talk about sure. today. Pretty busy Sunday. Let's first take you to first alert radar where we have a cold front toward north. That will give us the storm component today. But then this high that's swirling around to our south, what that's doing is pulling in gulf moisture, which will help increase that humidity and ultimately make it feel dangerously hot for some people today. Already very warm this morning. Mid to upper 70s, area wide 70s in Atlanta, 78 in Marietta, 75 in Lawrenceville, and 77 in Athens. All of us waking up in the mid-70s. Dew points in the 70s, extremely high right now that it's tropical. So while highs today will climb into the low to mid-90s, high of 96 in the city of Atlanta today, it is going to feel more like the triple digits. Here's a look at what it will feel like at 4 o'clock this afternoon. As high as 103 in Rome, 101 in Atlanta. Look at Eatonton, 106, Athens, 102. And I think you could feel even hotter than that today because areas south and east of Atlanta are under a heat advisory that will start at 11, go until 8 o'clock tonight. That goes from Banks County down to Jasper in Putnam County and then Meriwether County as well. So again, could feel as hot as 105 areas south and east of the city, but it'll feel like the triple digits for just about all of us. Rainfall lines will stay dry through the morning and maybe a stray shower possible to pop up. And then we'll start to introduce the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly after two o'clock. That's all long and ahead of that cold front to our north that will bring the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly between about four and seven o'clock. And then we'll dry out after midnight as that front sinks to our south. Northeast of the city from LJ to Athens, an isolated severe storm possible. We'll be looking for gusty wind and hail and any storms that do spark severe wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour in any severe storms. And we could talk about dime sized hail or so today, uh, but the storm threat, the severe threat rather very isolated tomorrow. Mid 90s storms will stay south of the city closer to that front. It'll kind of park itself over the Macon area in central Georgia. So south of the city, we could have a few thunderstorms, otherwise mostly sunny, hot and humid. High temperatures will Again, stay in the mid 90s. We will briefly cool off into the upper 80s. That's our treat this week. And then we'll head back into the low to mid 90s for the remainder of the week, including the 4th of July, where temperatures will climb into the mid 90s and that humidity will ramp right back up. So Tuesday, a little cooler, slightly lower humidity, and then that humidity ramps right back up and we'll have the chance for afternoon storms each day. So our first alert weather day today for the heat and storms, some which could be severe northeast of the city, mid 90s, the storm south of the city tomorrow, 80s Tuesday, and then back in the low to mid 90s for the remainder of the seven day forecast with an isolated chance for storms each afternoon. Courtney.